everyone uh, I'll show you how to uh, make an app that can show a save file uh, in the browser so you don't need to open QGIS or something just but it's kind of limited right now you can only open a uh, save file with uh, projection of VGS 84 or EBC 4326 you know that the most common one like you can just drag uh, maybe a very simple save file like this uh, you should put in zip <laughs> yeah it was just, you should put in zip and you can just drag it and it will open to the area you wanted for example this is Gilawang in uh, in uh, Indonesia close to, Mataram, eh, close to Mataram city in Lombok Island but you can also load uh, more uh, complex data like in the, zone, the whole watershed of Indonesia which is 30 megabyte you can is it, this is a share file you know this is a file and the rest of the file you can just drag it to the to the map and we'll load the data this may take some moment because you know big data easily it has hard time to load to the, as a share file but it's kind of done you know yeah so it's the app this the app what the app can do it's very simple just load the data but the limitation is the projection you can only use the most common projection one <laughs> you cannot use very complicated you need to convert it first that's the limitation maybe in the future we can make app that can do that yeah so what's uh so what does I use to make this app? Uh, I'm using uh, Leffert, obviously for the maps. Uh, but to be exact, I'm using uh, React Leffert, you know. So this Leffert is made for React. So it's very simple. Uh, like if you used to make a React app, then it would be easy for you to to do this, to implement this. You know, more common React. That, uh, yeah. So yeah, I'm using React, uh, and then I'm using SAPJS, SAP uh, this SAPJS package is, you know, uh, is created by SAPJS here, uh, not sure make this, yeah, you can check this repository here, uh, I'm using his uh, packages, uh, Calvin Metcalf, I'm not sure his name is, <laughs> yeah, I'm using uh, he, this guy uh, package to load the SAP file, so after the file loaded, convert. I will convert it to GeoJSON. So this is the function. I'll convert the zip file, uh, the zip file into a GeoJSON. Yeah, that's for the zip file. And I'm using GeoJSON, uh, GeoJSON uh, Leffert, GeoJSON tile Leffert. I mean, uh, the vector tile Leffert. You know, GeoJSON VT Leffert. So basically, uh, instead of just uh, showing GeoJSON data uh, directly. I'm using uh, GeoJSON time. It make make it much faster and li lighter instead of just uh, through GeoJSON. You know, it's much uh, simpler. You can just apply his uh, this data. I'm using with uh, some modification. <laughs> I created by Ian Texon. I'm not sure who his name is. I'm using his packages. Although he also using another packages actually. Yeah, Mapbox. So Mapbox are uh, created this uh, the, main, the main function to create QJSON tile using JavaScript you know, from the QJSON data. So it's cool. So yeah, I'm using some packages here <laughs> if you're interested. So yeah, this app to load a uh, save file. You can select load a simple save file or even a complicated one like this one. It's quite uh, high resolution. You zoom in, it's still quite detailed. Uh, it's the whole water of Indonesia, so it's kind of quite big. So yes. So I guess that's uh, my video. Uh, you can check the the script uh, in my GitHub, Geo app, uh, Ramicom, Ramicom, eh, Geo.com, Ramicom Geo app. You can just clone it. You can try yourself. You can modify it. You can try something with the app. Yeah, but the app is only like to show a layout map. Then you drag the save file. Then it become the data you the data you use. Uh, you can, then it will be showing the the data on the map. I guess that's it. Thank you. Bye.